In this video, we will learn a simple basic Hello World program in our programming language. We will learn how to create a script in our studio, how to display uh, in our programming language and how to take user input for both strings, uh, characters or integers. And we will also see how to run your script as a whole, which is called sourcing a script. So let's begin. So this is my R Studio. To create a new file, you have to go here and click here, or you can click on this button and choose R script from here. Also, you can go to this file, choose a new file, and then select R script from here. Or you can also use this shortcut key, Control Shift and N. So this is our script. So we will take the username and age from user. So first of all, let's do that. Let's see how to do that. So I'm going to name my variable my.name. Okay, so in our programming language, you can use my underscore name or my, uh, you can use the uh, camel case uh, in which the second, uh, then the first letter of second word is capitalized. And another good practice is to use, which is mostly followed, my.name in our program. So, so you uh, join two words using the dot operator. Okay, so this is what I've named my variable and let's now take input from user first of all and then we will display something on screen. So to display, so to take user input, you use the function read line and you have to give this message on screen so that the user will know what are we asking him. Let's take the age. Okay, now everything that we take from user in R is a string. So when we are taking age from the user, which is which should be a numeric or uh, that means integer or decimal value, it will again be a string. So we will have to convert it. So let's convert the age before proceeding forward. So to convert, you can use this function as dot integer, and we will just assign my, our variable to it, which was my dot age. So in this line, we have converted our uh, the value of this variable from string to integer. Now let's display something on screen. So to display, you use the function print. This is our function. And when we want to display something single, some single string, this something like this will do, right? So this will work. But if you want to display more things in one function, for example, I want to concatenate these two variables as well here in, in, in my print function. So in that case, we use another function that is paste. So we use this function and then we um, put the parts of our, our string. So for example, I, I will write hello space and then I want to write the name of that person, my dot name and let's display something. So let's use the variable my age as well here. All right, so this is this is the whole line. And let let's run it. Okay, now when I will run this, first of all I will obviously have to save it. First of all, let's save it. Okay, now when I will run this function, uh, sorry, when I will run this script, every line will be run one by one. So if my cursor is here and I press run this button here, 
only just the first line will run so let's see that so you see it just a single line has run the next line has not run and I have to run it again and I have to put my cursor here and then press this button again and then it will ask me my age let's say five So now just one single line has run. These other lines are not run. So if you want to run your script as a whole, it is called a sourcing. And to run your script as a whole, you have to click here. You can see source here. You have to click here. So press this button and it will run your script as a whole. Now you will see that it will keep on running. It will keep on executing all the lines one by one. So you see, it's running perfectly. So whenever you want to run your script as a whole, you have to source it by clicking this button. So I think it was easy. Let me know if you have any questions or any ambiguities.